Hi, how are you today? Well, we're gonna do a fall craft for you today and we hope you guys are having a good day. I'm gonna explain some of the things that we're gonna do. Um, some of the items that you'll need is, we're gonna make a fall uh, centerpiece for your table for like Thanksgiving or just to set out until the end of November, whatever. You take two of the pumpkin wire forms and you're gonna put them together with zip ties and you're just gonna put a couple of them on the bottom you want to leave it so you can pull it apart for right now. You're going to need... Where did you buy those? I got them from the Dollar Tree, but I bought these probably three years ago. I went to the website and bought them because you can hardly find them in the store. Um, if you can find them in the store, that's perfect. If you might have some, you can follow them. Then I just took a bunch of leaves that I had from the Dollar Tree and I just kind of put them in the Ziploc bag so I can use what I want. I made a bow prior, made a bow prior to the um, uh, doing this, so we didn't have to. I got to put an acorn on it yet. But, um, got that that we're gonna need. Then I have a bunch of different like pumpkins that I'm gonna use. I've got sparkly ones too. I don't know if I'm gonna use them all, but I've got all kinds of like little velvet, different textures. Different, yeah, I love that. This like little velvet one here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I've got um, that over there. I've got different berries that I could use. I've got pit berry, fall pit berry. I might use. I might not use. I've got some greenery. I'm going to use. Yeah, pull that. Pull this right here. I got some greenery that I'll be using. I've got this from the Dollar Tree. This was from an old reef that I had, and I just tore it apart. And I thought, well, I'll just save it and use it and use something. Never throw things away, right? No. Nope. And then a bunch of like little things I got from the Dollar Tree. The flowers that I'm gonna probably put in here, and I'm not sure I'll use all of them, but I got them from between Dollar Tree and Dollar General, actually. Very pretty colors. So then you're gonna, if you have a piece of wood, you can use a plain piece of wood. I've had so many of these that I bought when I was. Um, at the Dollar Tree, I just kept them, and so I'm positive. and I'm going to use this as my base to set my pumpkin on. Then I have um, a styrofoam here that I I'm, I put on the bottom of it a little piece of hot glued little ribbon because that will help this stick better to the bottom when we're done. And then this is um, a candle, and then I can turn it on. I'll show you at the end. I cut this out to put this in, but I was thinking, I don't think you have to because by the time you put all your, your flowers and your picks and your pumpkins, it would probably hold that in place. You don't want to hot glue it because you will have to change the batteries, okay? So it's how, a, I'm sorry. It's a flameless candle. Mm -hmm. How are you going to turn it on if it's inside that thing? Well, you take that, okay. And um, yeah, just a second, I'll show you. You, you hold on, sister. <laughs> because inquiry minds want to know. Uh, uh. You guys uh, got a chance to see our Halloween one. Did you enjoy it? Uh, we got some comments and it was oh, I have yeah, I got it on Amazon and I got three of them different sizes for 11 bucks with the remote. So then you just shut it off. Oh my goodness. And is there a timer on it too? So yeah, like you got a timer, you got two, four, six, eight hours. You got where you can make it bright or, or dull kind of flame. I love it. And look at here, it looks like wax is coming off of that. That's a that's a good find. How much did you say? Eleven dollars. I did on the prime days this past week. Yeah, so they're probably a little bit more now, but how fun. And then I've got zip ties, of course, for our ribbon. We'll zip tie that on, plus we'll do some zip tying on the sides and that to put the pumpkin together once we're ready. I've got uh, wire clippers for some of the uh, florals and some scissors in case I need them. But that's pretty much in our hot glue gun. That's pretty much all we're gonna need. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hot glue that on there like this, pretty much. And you're gonna put gobs of glue there. I sometimes just kind of hold it in place when I was doing it by myself. I took a zip tie around the, the this right here and the pumpkin and kind of held it there while I glued it. So since I've got another set of hands here, she's my zip tie. There and here we go. We're just gonna. So you just gotta keep adding the glue until it it um, kind of gets on there and dries good and holds it good. Now you'll never see this glue, right? 
No, you're not going to see any of this. So you can glob it and it's not going to matter. You could use E6000 and glue if you wanted to and see if that would help. But I don't know. I just kind of hold it down. I don't know if I'm doing it right. No, you're not. <laughs> I didn't think so. I mean, like, do I have to have them tight together? Yeah, you got to have these well, together. Okay, I'm not a good zip tie. Okay. And that's got to be down there so it grabs into the glue. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Hi, we're back. I just wanted to show you, you just really had to put a lot of hot glue in there. I did put a couple zip ties on there just to kind of hold it while it was drying. Um, but I'll cut them off at the end here pretty shortly once I know this is set pretty good. Okay, get this on there good. Maybe even. Okay, once I got the styrofoam in, I'm just going to put the candle in there. Like I said, you can either cut it out or not cut it out. It doesn't really matter. I just kind of did that. Then you're just going to kind of, I put the greenery on. And I don't, I need my white cut. This, okay. Yeah. Then you just kind of snip off here and just kind of put in there wherever you want to put them. So I'm just going to. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, if you don't want the greenery sticking out. I just kind of like it. It's just my preference. You can do whatever you want to do. I think it looks pretty. And you don't have to do a lot. I usually just do like a couple of them. And get here. If I want more later, I will. Kind of, I've, I've never used the, the felt. Kind. I thought it would Almost be kind like of neat. Velvet. It's very pretty. I think I'm going to stick that I love one the texture. like right there and then I can build floral around it. So let's do that. So you don't know how it's going to glue really. Yeah. No, I'm sure it would be good. This one's cool because it already has a flower. And then you just kind of, I think I'm going to do it tilted like that. Hold it there for a little bit. And then you're just going to, um, I, I just kind of put those in and then I do my flowers around it. You do it however you want. If you want to build your flowers first and then put these on top, you could do that as well. Like, and then I'm going to, I love this one. This is like my ultimate favorite one and I couldn't tell you where we got this one at. Oh, we picked it up. I, I probably picked it up from Hobby Lobby or something, but I love him. So I'm going to stick him in the front, which will, this will be my front and I'll switch it back and forth so you guys can see it. I think I'm going to put him like right there, but I'm going to build up first before I put him in. What are you going to have on the other side of that guy, like here? Here, I'll put florals. No, I mean him, like over here. Like what are you going to have there? You want um, another texture? Or... Yeah, he's kind of different. We'll put him in there. So I might just put him just flat bottomed right there. Yeah. And this is just, you know, you guys just play around however you want. <laughs> I put my finger right in her hot glue. <laughs> that was not fun. Last time I was here, I got a blister. This time I'm going to get a blister. <laughs> my sister hurts me. <laughs> well, tell it. Well, there is a story. I mean, she's been burned and she's been motorcycle, or not motorcycle, but um, bicycle injured by me. And yeah. Does it sound like she takes a little bit of pride in that? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of sound like that to me. Yeah, we love each other to pieces. But uh, childhood, yep, you do things. <laughs> uh, what are we doing now? Oh, I I'm like looking the texture for, of him. He's fun. Cool. I'm looking for Patty. Um, hmm, I don't know where it went. What's it? Give me a name for it. It's, oh, here it is. I know right where it is. Okay, <sighs> this is more of a, like a little orangey color. Sunflower. Sunflower. So I thought I'd put cool. him right in through my front part here. So pretty. And then you can just... Yeah, and you don't have to have this. See, I'm building like right here. You don't have to have it like just perfect. You want it to be kind of here and there. And if you don't like it covering up your candle, 
You can always push it down further into the, the styrofoam and just hold your candle. Just push it down a little bit more. Play around with the leaves. Oh, so and cool. now you just, what you do is you just kind of build in with your flowers and your greenery. And I'm gonna stick some of this right there. And, you can, and they can come out like, you know, like they're coming out of the form, the form and that. So it's okay if it does. But the idea is, we'll come back, the idea is you just want to just keep building, you know, your your flowers and stuff. And if you want to, I don't like this pick here anymore, so I'm going to take that pick out. And I'll put in probably somewhere like right here maybe in the front. But I don't want him to be down too far. So then, this will be just fun. Yeah, so out like that and what I think I'm gonna do since I've got all the big pieces in I think let me see one though so I might want to put him in there I, I know you like this I don't I take him off <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> and then I think I'm gonna put him like right down in here kind of lean in that way but what I do when I do that and you're looking at well why did you take that off I take some of these right here. Oh. And you're going to end up sticking a flower back on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a leaf on it. I'm going to take this stuff right here. I'm going to do Pop it here. Actually, where's my long ones? No, I do like these. So I'm just going to snip one of these off and I can just kind of put it on there like that if I wanted. What's good about this, you know, I guess any centerpiece is probably a silly thing to stay, say, but that no matter where you're sitting at the table, you're going to get a view of the, yep. a beautiful view. So I, when I'm doing this, I periodically turn it back and forth to work on the other side just as well. And then I'm just going to take and put a little, a little more right here. You getting a little nervous with me at the high? I, I, you see, I move when she gets that glue gun in there. <laughs> Burn me once, shame on me. Burn me twice. And then you can just kind of do like Whatever that. And I know some of you are probably thinking, <laughs> well, I would just, I would have just left that thing on. I, I don't like it, so I took it off. Do you like this? Not really. But I might, I might fit him in here with that on. I might. He looks better than the other one. I didn't like that big guy. So I might. I know. <laughs> have to play around. I might stick him right there. That's your front. All right, so we got you here. Got you. Yeah, I want him in there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that one because I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one. I'll put you right there for right now. But I need you to need build up here. here. What I need to do is good. I need. I need to. All right, guys, we're looking at all what we have and trying to figure out what might be cool. Baby sunflower. Come here, baby sunflower. That's what I want, baby sunflower. And like I say, you're just going to play around with this till you get what you want. And you'll, you'll take out and redo and take out and redo. See, like you're just gonna play around and keep going around. You want to add a little bit of more height as you go, and and so we'll come back and we'll show you some more. But you just keep building and building. Okay, now I'm just gonna start taking leaves of different colors, and I'm just gonna start periodically putting them wherever I feel like I want to put them, and um, kind of build up like the fall scene with the leaves and the florals. This is such an easy project. You just got to be creative and just kind of put in where you want. It doesn't take long to do this. 
And um, if you, like I said, if you wanted to add more, why does this look so funky? <laughs> happen well fix that. <laughs> the leaf took on a mind of its own that's right you'll fix it you'll I'll fix it. it so then I'm just like I said I'm just gonna start sticking these wherever I want to like if I want to stick like it there leaf. he's big yeah he's a big one look at this okay we just added a little bit more um, leaves which I'm gonna fill in the bottom down here a little bit we you know been just been filling in with leaves I put a little bit of uh, like these little gold sprig things that are coming out of it. I've added um, some other greenery here, a little bit of this greenery. So the variation is really yep. cool. And you just kind of like keep adding the leaves where you want them. You're going to want to take the leaves and cover up the back part here so you don't see that. So then you just kind of keep filling in. You know, right now I think I'm going to leave it where I have it because I don't want it to cover my candle. I might put a little bit more here a little greenery and then I'm just going to start putting the leaves to cover this up and then I'm going to call it done. One well, the bow. And the bow. Yep. So uh, we'll be back once we put the bow on. We'll light it up and we'll show you. Hi, we're back and we kind of finished it up. We got the candle glowing. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm going to lift it up just a little bit for you. But it's just, it come out really cute. You just add your bow. You can buy a bow, make a bow. But we just added all kinds of like, I don't know if you can see, we had like little berries in there, um, little leaves here and there, greenery everywhere. Very cute, Robbie. We put like a little sparkle pumpkin in there. It's just whatever you want to do. It'd be really cute on your table as a centerpiece for Thanksgiving or on your food table, whatever you, wherever you wanted to put it. But it, it come out cute. I like it with the candle. I've never made one with the candle in it, and I think I, I, I really like it. I like that it's battery operated like that. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Very good job, Robbie. So easy to do, but it just takes time putting where you want it to be and um, adding the greenery and the leaves here and there. You can even add actually twigs from you know outside, smaller twigs if you wanted to in there oh, too, cool kind of give it a different spin so i hope you enjoy and um leave a comment please subscribe and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up have a blessed thanksgiving everybody hi we're back for a second we forgot to tell you a few things <laughs> my phone is telling me that the sun is about to set i have it set to tell me when because i love to take pictures of the sunset and the sunrise only I don't get up for sunrise we're gonna do another bloopers because let me tell you we get <laughs> off this one taping we've got so many bloopers so but I want to tell you something when I, the sunset reminder made me think of this how many of you saw the northern lights the other night I mean they were phenomenal I, I know Arlen if you're watching I know you saw them because I saw that you posted that you saw them and oh my goodness they were unbelievable and that was one of my um, uh, bucket list things to see the northern lights I thought I'd gonna have to go to Iceland although I still want to go to Iceland but I thought I have to go to Iceland to see him and I saw him right not only in my backyard where is the north we saw him in the front yard and all around because they were so such a sub storm or whatever they call it that you could look any direction and still see him and it was gorgeous but anyway we're back because we know um, Robbie was doing the um, craft and last time she taught me and I did the craft and she did the art I'm going to be doing a piece of autumn art um, on another video to show you so that we wanted to talk about that and then we promised you that when Robbie got her book in remember she wrote a book a children's book we would do a little like review of it so you could see the book is that adorable or what so. yes and it's Tessa's Dirty Stinky Farm, and I'll just show you some of the illustrations. She did here. the art in the book. She wrote the book and did the art in the book. And then that, that's uh, Casey's part in this book. I don't know if there's a glare on the light. So it's like a German Shepherd. I don't know if you can see it really well. And then we've done, uh, well, this is little Miss Tessa. I, I, okay, I apologize, because I do animals. That's she my specialty. Animals very well. People, not so much. But she thought it looked like her, so I said, well, that's good. Because I sat down and read this book to her um, last Sunday, went over to her house. 
There's little Tessa. I think she's beautiful. She's in the bathtub in that picture. Yep. And then we have... Oh. Finley the pig. But then we have this one I liked. I just, I don't know. This, this was my mom. That's what I put my character of my mom in. So anyway, I'll read the dedication to you that I, that I put my... <laughs> the dedication says, I dedicate, my, I dedicate this to my beloved grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and in loving memory of my dear nephew, Casey, who had a true love for animals. Your memory lives on in our hearts, and we cherish the love we shared with you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Somehow I always make her cry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but if you do go out and purchase it, please leave me a review. I want to hear what your opinion on the book is. Um, but it is a very cute book. Everybody that's purchased it so far have the ones that have left um, messages. Oh, that's got me having a tear come down my face. Um, all like it. And yeah. They all comment about the, the um, illustration. I had to stop and thank the illustration. It's a very sweet book, and it's so well written. And it's like if you ever grew up on a farm or you have people that you know that are living on a farm this is like the perfect little book and it's such a, a warm heartwarming little story about a little girl living on the farm and her animals and it's i just love it i think it's a well written and the, like we said before the artwork is or i said before she wouldn't tell you this but i would the artwork is stunning in it and um I think oh. anybody would love it. I, and if you belong to 4-H, this is a kind of a really cool book for somebody that belongs to 4-H. So and and my, um, when I sat down when I was reading it with uh, Tessa, uh, one of the pictures in the book, I think it's with her and Isaac uh, in the duck pond. She, she goes, that's me! And I said, yeah, it is. But the sad thing is, it's not a good picture. <laughs> but, but she liked it. But see, and, children are so innocent and so yeah. loving, and they just... Or, I mean, and she sat through the whole thing when I read it to her, so and she liked it, so I was glad. I she, didn't, she didn't say anything about, yeah, you made me stinky, but mm, she didn't. <laughs> so that's a good yeah. one. So stay tuned, guys, for the for the um, the art that I will do, and um, 